Hello everyone and welcome into the studios today, Ms. Carol Edwards and Ms. Fran Wells. And we're here today to talk about some exciting events coming up really fast, so you want to go ahead and mark your calendar on them. And the very first one, I guess, would be uh, the pageant coming up, the Glitz and... Ms. Glitz and Glamour pageant, mm -hmm. which is our senior mature ladies pageant, ages 50 up to... 75, 100, however far you want to go. 50 and up. 50 and up. We have two categories. We have the pearls and we have the diamonds. Mm -hmm. And our pearls is from 50 to 64, and our diamonds are 64 and up. And these young ladies, they take proud, and I call them young ladies because that's who they are. Mm -hmm. They take proud in what they're doing. They're excited about it, and they're ready to show the community what they have and what they're working with. All right. Yeah. And Carol, you're here today to talk to us about the annual breakfast. Yes, the annual Martin Luther King Jr. breakfast. Um, um, it is our 36th year, and it will be at the Dublin Middle School at 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. on Martin Luther King Day, which is January the 20th, 2020. <laughs> yes. Yes, and our speaker this year is Dr. Dietra Cotton, and she is a motivational speaker. Our theme this year is African Americans and the Vote. All right. Now, Fran, being a part of the committee, uh, Black Festival Committee, I, you know, you have put a lot of work into this over the years and to see things grow along but to be able to recognize our senior uh, ladies and as you say young ladies because mm -hmm. I have truly enjoyed watching this over the past it's th third year this year it's that third year oh what a joy it is to watch them as they walk across the stage it is so beautiful um, and so much confidence and yes just proud to be there and proud to represent. So yes, to they are very proud. And they want people to know that, you know, just because they have matured in age, but they have not matured in mind mm -hmm. because they still stepping in their season. Mm -hmm. So they, they want everybody to know you can be a part of this. You don't have to say, oh, I'm too old or I don't have yeah. this and I don't have that because we all have something to share. Yeah. So they want to share what they have. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. let's talk about where the event will be held and the time. The event will be held at New Vision Missionary Baptist Church in Dudley, Georgia. Reverend Horace Austin is the host pastor. It will be at 3 o'clock p.m. Sunday, January the 19th at 2020. And that's at 3 o'clock p.m. Yeah, be in the social hall. In the social hall. Yeah. Now let's talk about that, about how many participants you have and, and whether or not it's closed out or someone may be involved. Right now we have 10 participants um, and it's not closed out. If we have someone out there listening this morning that want to come, please contact me as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. And we're ready for these young ladies. I had talked to one last night. She said, I might be limping, but I'm still coming. <laughs> I told her to come on, so we're ready. That's wonderful. Now, yes. uh, tell me about what all is involved with the pageant. What would one of the ladies have to do? Uh, they will have to introduce themselves. Um, they will come out, introduce themselves. They will model their outfits. They have a question at the end that they will have to answer. It's six different questions. They have copies of the questions, but they don't know which question they will have. But they are excited about the questions. So it's, it, you know, it's not anything real huge that they got to run and do this and run and do that. We try to keep it in moderation so they will have fun in doing it. Yeah, but 10 participants, that yes. is, that's terrific. It is. Yeah, and we want everyone to turn out for that and support these ladies. Turn out and show them how much you love them. Oh, because yes. Because a, a person, a lady that will do this and, uh, you know, 50 and older, who's worked throughout their life, who's mm -hmm. been a community servant in so yes. many, many cases, who's given to their church body, to the community, to young people and, uh, and seniors alike. It's a great time to, to recognize them. Exactly. So you want to do your part in a 10, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We're looking for a huge turnout. Yeah. And talk about a huge turnout now. Uh, when we come <laughs> to the annual breakfast, uh, my people really turn out for that. But we do want you to know again this year that there are no ticket sales at the door. No, no sale in the past two years. Mm -hmm. There are no sales at the door. And we end our ticket sales Friday. This is coming Friday. Yeah, you have to know how many to prepare for, don't you? Yes. And have a, a good order to it. But if we take it back to, uh, as we were discussing beforehand, how 
uh, many years. And so it was 36, right? 36. That the breakfast has been going on. Yes. Talk about that original breakfast and how everything grew. I love it. Well, Fran knows part <laughs> of it, and I know the other part of it. But the part that I know um, is that um, the one of the original sponsors that helped pay for the breakfast was Mr. the late deceased Mr. Willie Burke. Mm. And um, from there, and, and my recollection, because Fran has the other part and she'll tell you about it, <laughs> the, uh, the breakfast, it, it has grown. Um, last year we had about 470 people to attend the breakfast. Mm. And so we're looking for 500. Our desire is for it to grow even larger. And um, next year we will be having it at the DuBose Porter Center. Good, good. That just shows the growth, doesn't it, it Carol? Does. And what a blessing to your heart. Mm -hmm. uh, we take it back to uh, Mr. Burke and, yes. and um, at that time, people just gathered 36 years ago. Mm -hmm. People just mm -hmm. gathered uh, at uh, Shoney's or at Holiday Shoney's. in Shoney's. And, and I think uh, when I spoke to my husband about it this morning, he mm -hmm. said also Holiday Inn. Mm -hmm. And um, from there, it has continued to grow. But Fran can remember the early, <laughs> um, the early beginning of the, uh, the breakfast. All right, Fran, take it from there. Okay, uh, around about 36 years ago, it was at Shona's, the first first breakfast, and that probably we had maybe 15 participants. That's correct. Maybe 15. Mm -hmm. And look, 36 years later, we're up to 400, yes. close to 500 people. So you can see what the process and the work and the growth in the community have come out and put forth. And we say the community because the community supports this and it is a worthy cause. So we're excited and we pay homage to Mr. Burke for mm -hmm. the first sponsor mm -hmm. of the breakfast yeah. because that was his dream to get people to come together. So mm -hmm. we continue with his dream and the dream of Martin Luther King. Yes, yes. ma'am. Yes, yes. ma'am. How wonderful. You know, uh, when we look at the, the almost perfect example of, of uh, Martin Luther King Jr., and then we look at the example of people like Mr. Burke, who mm -hmm. uh, give so much to the right. community because they know what it's all about in the heart. Right. They want to yeah. see uh, the dream of, of uh, people all getting along, all coming together, mm -hmm. all going forward together, you know, and, and you know, work on the past, but let's go forward. Yeah. Let's right. grow together. Mm -hmm. Let's make our uh, our nation, our community, uh, greater and greater in working together. And so we're proud to come together. If we could get close to that 500 this year, that's the goal. That's Looking good. so forward to a great speaker. Yes. Uh, so, uh, in, in tell us a little bit about her history now. Where she's from? She is from Macon, Georgia. Um, the cottons are known in Macon. Her father was, well, her husband's father was a bishop there. And my father-in-law remembers him. And she is a motivational speaker. I've not had a chance to meet her, but my daughter-in-law um, is very good friends with Dr. Cotton. And we were thinking of a different way to go with the program this year because we all need some type of motivation. And uh, at this point, we need to be, and that's all of us, uh, to, uh, to be motivated to vote. So, mm. and Isn't that is the true? Black uh, History Month thing, African Americans and the vote. Mm -hmm. And I spoke with uh, Dr. Cotton. She was just coming back from New York and she was very thrilled to, to come and do this, this short presentation for us because as the years go on, we are trying to um, make our program on time. We get out so, uh, a little early and we have uh, excellent entertainment and we have an excellent breakfast. So we're just trying to keep with that thing and we'll, thing, and we'll change some, but yeah. we just want our community and our community, the whole community, to mm -hmm. come out and, and uh, participate with us. 
All right, wonderful program going on here. We'll take a short break. We'll be right back with you with some more information, so you'll want to stay tuned. Hello, I'm John Martin, physical therapist and athletic trainer from Rehab Advantage and Sports Medicine. I'd like to take this opportunity to invite you to some of our workshops here at Rehab Advantage. We've been hosting workshops every three weeks, some for low back pain, shoulder pain, arthritis, and for balance and vertigo problems. And so feel free, we'd love to have you come. We'd love to share information with you about these injuries and how you can get well naturally from these things. And we'd just love to tell you more about it right here at Rehab Advantage. We usually have them hosted at 6 p.m. on Thursday evenings. So that does change sometimes, so be sure to look at our website or give us a call 478-275-1800. Okay, we welcome you back. We're talking about two great events in our community, and we want to go right back now, Carol, to the entertainment that'll be. Oh, well, you know, we have excellent entertainment. Yes, we do. We will have the uh, Dublin High Chorus uh -huh. to keep us entertained. Mm -hmm. We have um, members of, of our soror one of our sororities that usually participates on the program. Mm -hmm. We have. Um, the speaker. We have our queens from the Miss Black Dublin pageant to come out yeah. and do the um, do a welcome mm -hmm. and maybe some entertainment because not everyone goes to the the uh, Miss Dublin Black pageant, but the people who are attending the breakfast will get an opportunity to see how our young 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 ladies are or growing in this community and making it better for our community because we've had uh, queen pageants to go off to win mm -hmm. um, championships, uh, titles, tournaments, um, uh, and scholarship, mm -hmm. and scholarships because the premise of our Miss Dublin Black scholar, uh, uh, pageant is to give away scholarships. And I think now we are probably up to about six or seven thousand mm -hmm. dollars or more mm -hmm. in the past maybe about six years. Man, mm -hmm. that's grown. And what a wonderful display of, of our talent in our yes. community, yes. our young people and, and our senior adults is like now. Let's just come back over to the pageant. Okay. Now the, the ladies will be answering questions. Who will be hosting it though? Who will be the master of ceremony? Master of ceremony is Miss Patricia Brock along with her husband, Reverend Martin Brock. Mm -hmm. So we are in for a treat because they have their own special way of hosting and entertaining as yes. well. Yes. Plus we will have entertainment which will be a local keyboard player from Dublin so All right. we will have that and might be some other surprises <laughs> from one of our ladies so right now we'll, we'll let the audience <laughs> see that so we won't put all the information out yeah, there yeah. but we want them to come That's and enjoy. enough to show up for as much yes. as I love uh, Pat and Martin uh, a bra. Oh, yes. <laughs> we all in for a treat on that one. Oh, right? yes. <laughs> it yeah. will be entertainment. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so we're looking forward to these events, but we want to remind you, go ahead and make your plans now. And remind them where the uh, Glitz and, and Glamour. The Glitz and Glamour will take place Sunday, January 19th at 3 o'clock p.m. at the New Vision ba Missionary Baptist Church in Dudley, Georgia. Yeah. Now what goals do you have going forward? I know you have 10 ladies, and, and I know when you look at each year, um, the, the committee will look at events that you, you host and, and you've initiated, and mm -hmm. this being only three years three old, years. only the third year. <laughs> My, the opportunity to change and to grow is there. Yes. Are there things that you'd like to share with the community about? Well. I dream and hopes for next year is to have the young men to participate. Mm -hmm. We want the young men because we know they're out there and we know they have what they have and they can do what they can do. So we want our young men to come and participate with our young ladies. So we want it to be both because, you know, we just don't want to leave our parents and grandparents out because they paved the way for us. Yeah, so we still want to truth? recognize them. You know, you look at people in our community, of course, we look throughout our nation at those leaders, those people who set forward and put, put the first step down and, and doing new things mm -hmm. and forge the way for so many to be able to do so much more. Right. Um, you know, and we celebrate that. I mean, now and throughout, uh, finally throughout the year. Yes. Uh, I love yes. that about the committee that you know, you, you made the resolution to, okay, we have, you know, Black History Month in February, but come mm -hmm. on. It, right. Let's recognize things throughout the throughout year. Let's year. develop 
things to keep it a mind, keep it abreast, mm -hmm. and continue to grow as a as a community as we we are as a nation. But you know, in, in saying that, uh, you know, you look for those young people to become involved. You become involved. The committee reaches out to people. Uh, you can become a part. You can volunteer. You can mm -hmm. ask, call on Fran, uh, call on Carol, and ask how you can be a part as a young person. If you have a real energetic, a real uh, intelligent, or uh, forth going, so to speak, young person, mm -hmm. very involved, yes. make the call. Get get Car uh, Carol or get Fran together with that young person. Mm -hmm. uh, it may not be right now, maybe throughout the year, but get them involved with things. It's such a growing experience. Yes. And then we want to recognize those who have gone before, who, as you say, have, have forged a trail, mm -hmm. uh, the first to do so many things. It pleases my heart now hopefully we get, we're getting to the point where we no longer have to say uh, I'm the first black man, I'm the first black woman right. to hold this office, to mm -hmm. do this position. To, it, what a wonderful compliment to, to people, to people's hearts, uh, to people's souls and spirits mm -hmm. that we're, we're growing on mm -hmm. to where we're inclusive, to where diversity is uh, hopefully we're all to the point where we see diversity is the most important and we have strength, so much strength in diversity right. mm -hmm. in getting the most qualified and then mm -hmm. getting all people's uh, respective opinion and position on things in order to grow as our community. Right. It makes me proud to live in Dublin, it oh, really yes. does. Oh yes. So yeah. when we look back now, we, we have the breakfast coming up, I want to remind them again how to get in touch and get the tickets. Um, you can contact myself or a friend, and also um, Melissa Smith, who who is the ticket keeper. <laughs> and uh, if you co contact myself or friend, we'll get the tickets for you. Mm -hmm. um, we, like you mentioned earlier, we have a system that we set the tables up and everything for the for the pageant, mm -hmm. and it is it is along the lines of. You purchase in your ticket, and if you uh, purchase your ticket as a group of ten, you get your table, and that's how is. But people are at, they always ask, "Well, can I get a good table?" If you were one of the first to buy a ticket, uh, your table for uh, your group or whatever, you will get a good table. Mm -hmm. And we just want people to to know that. We are. We have a certain way that we do our seating, and uh, that's the reason why people would say, "Well, I don't want a ticket so far in the back. I mean, a table so far or a chair so far in the back." But what we do have are, you know, if you're gonna purchase a table, just go ahead and get in contact with us. Uh, we start the sales of the ticket. I think the beginning of the year, and. Uh, which is it has been you know going mm -hmm. on and uh what we'll do is the time you get you purchase your table you get your uh, tickets and you will be lined up as they go yeah yeah mm -hmm. uh friend who sets up who who lays out everything uh for the glitz and glamour pageant who's doing the leg work out there is the church body no actually it is myself and a subcommittee this year mm -hmm. so each year we have a subcommittee mm -hmm. under the main committee that does different activities so because of one of the other ladies become two of the other ladies becoming ill which i was ill myself but you know yeah. laying in the bed i can make a lot of phone calls mm -hmm. so that's what i did so we kind of worked it all together so but all of us are working it together but yeah. for the phone calls I did most of the phone calls but it was enjoyable calling the ladies and talking to them and they call you back and said no I don't think I can do it and we, we go back and forth and they're like yeah I think I'm ready now so but it was exciting. Yeah. So, yeah. You get to know them if you don't already you get to know them yes. a little bit better you get to encourage them to, mm -hmm. to be a part and then to be able to just set up that day, the facility, it takes so many hands right. to be able to lay out everything and have everything prepared and beautiful mm -hmm. for the pageant to take place, doesn't right. it? Reverend Austin have assisted us. He said he would make sure the chairs and everything is set up. So yeah. and we have someone coming in and doing the decoration and put up a screen for them to take pictures. So if they want to take pictures with their families, they will yeah. be able to do so. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for an exciting time with be them. A beautiful day, won't it? Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. 
And then, Carol, we think about the breakfast of the hands that prepare the food. Yes, uh, our caterer is uh, Reverend Neil Dixon, and he's been doing our breakfast now the past six, six years. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I, for certain, people enjoyed the breakfast, mm -hmm. and it uh, it all just fits in well together. We try to. Um, while we are eating, we are entertained, which sort of kind of moves the time along. Mm -hmm. So um, our MC this year will be again doc Dr. Ricky Porter, and he was our MC last year, and I asked him to come back and do it, and he was thrilled to do it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm sure Dr. Porter is a, a pillar of our community yes, now, and you talk about a person who has moved in and really a part of our community, and a an example for others around, but a, a very good speaker, yes, wonderful pastor, and uh, you know we look forward to that. Uh, mm -hmm. It just makes a great program, doesn't it? It does. It does. It it takes all of us to put this program and everything together, mm -hmm. and uh, we are we do get comments back from the community, and they've been very positive so far, mm -hmm. and we're just hoping to keep everyone to come and even more people to come and just make it a big growing thing for Dublin and Lawrence County. Yeah. And maybe just remember everybody can't sit on the front row. Everybody can't sit <laughs> on the front row. <laughs> <laughs> but you do want to come because you do want to be a part of such a wonderful event for our community. What an example we are for our community and for mm -hmm. other communities yeah. around us when we turn yes. out for things like yeah. this. Right. So, you make that call, you get those tickets now, buy your table, and get together there and just celebrate what a wonderful yes. day it is. Yes. Have it on the 20th on 2020. 2020. Yeah. I asked people, I said, did you ever think, people around our age, I should say, did we ever think we'd get to 2020? And what a no. number so off that seemed to be, but here we are, mm -hmm. and how we have grown. Yes, yes. we have. Yes. Yeah, may we continue to grow. Oh, yes. I agree 100%. So I want you to get in touch with these ladies. Go ahead and get involved with the pageant. Get involved with the breakfast. There's so many other events. We remind you of the calendar on and on here on TV 35. And we look forward to a wonderful month and throughout the year yes. for the festival. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Fran. And thank you for joining us right here on TV 35.